Hello everyone, Scott Bloom here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add games to Steam using the Xenia emulator. Xenia is an Xbox 360 emulator. Uh, it's still in development, and yeah, let's uh, get started. First, you're going to need uh, the uh, Xenia emulator downloaded onto your computer. Uh, and you will find it in their, uh, on their GitHub page. And I'll see here. Yeah, blah, 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 quick start. So, when you go to the page that I, yeah, link to here, uh, you'll be seeing all this, and you want to go to the quick start page. And from here, You'll see the system requirements, um, where do I download Xenia, how to rip games. Of course, you can't play games directly from the disc yet, but uh, this is what they recommend for using, or to use to get your games. Uh, of course, your Xbox 360 console, which does not need to be modified in any way. A USB storage device that's at least 16 gigabytes. That's what I'll be using. Velocity. That's not really needed. Um, if you want to rip games from disk, which is what we'll be doing in this video, you need the Xbox 360 game disk and an Xbox 360 that can read discs. So, let's head on over to the uh, Xbox 360. Okay, so now we're at our Xbox Live dashboard. So, uh, we're, let's go to settings and make sure our uh, USB storage device is all set up. It is. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a 16 gigabyte uh, you, uh, flash stick, so yeah, now I'm going to have to use a smaller game. Um, I thought I had it in, but whatever. Storage is all set up, so let's go back home, close the tray, and the game that I am going to be uh, Download or not downloading, but uh, ripping is uh, Halo 3 ODST. It's small enough, so it will fit on the USB storage device. So let's select that and install. And I will fast forward through this. Okay, Halo 3 ODST is done installing on our uh, USB flash drive, so we do not need this to be on anymore. So we can shut down, sh turn off the console. And head back to Steam. Well, we're not actually quite ready for this yet. We need to take our uh, USB stick out of uh, the Xbox 360 and plug it into our computer. And we need to navigate to our USB drive and our content. So, uh, Halo 3 ODST is the only thing installed, so let's navigate to that, and it'll be the largest folder. which is this one, and we need to 
copy this file and this folder into our uh, Xenia uh, folder. So let's bring that up. And I'm going to put it into the storage folder and I'm going to call it Halo 3 ODST. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to shorten it. And I am going to right click, drag, and I'm going to move it to the computer. So the last time I did a uh, an Xbox 360 game conversion video, I used a tool called GOD to ISO, uh, Games on Demand to ISO. Uh, I found out shortly after that video that you don't need to go through all of that. You just need to get the files off of the uh, system, copy it over, and you can just play, or you could just run this file. It doesn't have a, an extension to it, but it will run on Xenia with no problems. Yeah, I found that out uh, playing with uh, Xbox Live Arcade games, because uh, Xbox Live Arcade games are only a single file, and they don't have a file extension, so, yeah, <laughs> it was uh, pretty interesting. Okay, now that it's done uh, moving over, I'm going to delete this folder. And while well, that's doing that, okay, so that's done. So I am going to give this a friendlier name rather than all these alphanumeric characters. I'm just going to call it ODST. And uh, I'm going to open up another Xenia folder. It's just a duplicate of this, uh, this one. So I'm going to drag. Well, actually, first I'm going to open up Xenia. Move it over here. drag this onto here okay or just oops almost had an oopsie there all right drag that huh all right well instead of just dragging it I'm gonna open okay why doesn't that work now Mm. I wonder. Oops. All right, let's uh, not rename that. Okay, yeah, that was the problem. So, 
it does run without it being all bunched up together as an ISO file. All right, so we are effectively done with this. Uh, I am going to copy that and let's see here. Next thing we want to do is look at the command. Oh, great. Sorry about that. Uh, look at the command options. Most of these we don't need to use. Um, so if you're if you're going to be playing an Xbox uh, Live Arcade game then you will you want to use this uh, license mask to uh, effectively unlock your Xbox Live game. It, you could download just a trial of the game and uh, you can unlock it using this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, like I said, most of these you do not need to use. Uh, at least I don't need to use them. Uh, but this one, full screen equals tr uh, false. Well, we're going to be setting that to true. So, yeah. Uh, let's switch over to, yeah, this one. Okay, so I was going to use Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier to uh, as a uh, test, but obviously I didn't do that. So uh, okay, it was yeah H3 ODST slash that. Uh, content route that'll be like your saves and uh, all that. I don't think that works uh, like I'm thinking it does. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the content route or the GPU commands so uh, I'm just gonna use the full screen true these are what you basically need to get this to run so I am going to copy those commands uh, go back into Steam add a non Steam game to library browse and we're going to want to go to our Xenia folder, open it up, add that, and let's see here. Let's just do that, make it easier on us. Okay, so we're going to right click on that, click on properties, and let's bring that over. So I'm just going to call this Halo 3 ODST. Start in F Xenia, and for the launch options, full screen equals true. Well, I'm going to get rid of that for now. Uh, but we're just going to use this. Probably don't need that. So close that out. Play, and it'll pop up on your... Uh, primary display. So there's that. Adding the uh, full screen option will launch it in full screen mode. So yeah, that's all it takes to run uh, an Xbox 360 game on your PC.
don't need any BIOS or anything, just uh, install your game onto your uh, uh, USB drive, plug it into your computer, copy, uh, oops, wrong folder, wrong folder. Uh, reset transform. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that I should have gotten rid of. All right, so yeah, just uh, these files from the drive. Copy them onto where uh, you have your Xenia or wherever you want. Just make sure that it's the uh, full. Uh, directory path to the game and then you can launch it so yeah that's it oh um one other thing uh you'll, if you don't see any of that stuff you'll need to go into view and i think options yeah And let's see here. There, yeah, here we go. And under folder options view, uh, show hidden files and f files, folders, and drives. So you need to have that checked in order to uh, see your uh, Xbox 360 games. Because if it's like this, you won't be able to see it. So, make sure that's checked, hit apply, and then do all that. I should have gone through that the first, uh, right at the beginning, but uh, yeah, I just now covered that like an idiot. So, <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video later.